Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I got my Allure Beauty Box finally in the mail yesterday and I was so excited because I do love the Allure Beauty Box, usually. I wish my girl Crystal was here because she would put it down to you and tell you exactly how she felt about this. I'm gonna sugarcoat it a little bit, but I'm still gonna tell you I was not impressed. I already opened it just because I couldn't wait because I was so excited. I do love my Allure. Here's the little magazine that comes with it. Um, I saw on the back of this, there was like a Bobbi Brown thing and I got excited thinking that's what was in the box. No. Nah. All right, so I'm gonna open it and I'm gonna tell you. Whoa. Usually this box is full, like you have a couple full-size products in there, at least one. <sighs> yeah, I opened it and I was like, where's my shit? Um, so, let me just start with the first thing, uh, which was the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I can't tell you how many of these I have kicking around in my beauty room. Like, do we really need another sample from Smashbox? No, never in my lifetime. I'm so sick of those samples. They need to be outlawed. They need to be outlawed in the beauty world. No more Smashbox primer. As much as I used to like that primer, I am so flippin' sick of it now. I actually love my Nivea Men's Shave Balm. That's what I end up using every day. So yeah, no more Smashbox primer, please. Okay. This one I was okay with. This was the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Serum. Um, I was kind of okay with this, but it's nothing special because you can go to the Estee Lauder counter. If you like Estee Lauder products, you get these in just about every single um, gift with purchase, in the bags. You can go up and ask at the counter for a damn sample and they'll give you one. So I wasn't, I, as much as I like this product, I wasn't thrilled that we got the very generic beauty counter sample. Like, yeah. Speaking of beauty counter samples, we also got this little itty bitty thing of Le Mer. Now, I love this. This is um, one of my favorite, favorite creams. Back when I was a little bit richer, um, I used to buy the full-size Le Mer, and it would last me forever. Um, again, you can walk up to the beauty counters and get these. They come in the gift with purchase. They You can buy them on eBay even. Um, they're, it's so tiny. I have a bunch of these too, and I like, see? So tiny, like that's like maybe a couple applications to your face and neck. So I wasn't really thrilled about that. I'm like, could you've given up, I mean, I know it's expensive, but could you've given us maybe a deluxe sample size? Same thing with the Estee Lauder. Something that we can't get at the beauty counter. Smashbox, something that we can't get, like just, Step up your game. Um, so then we got the Hollywood California Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment. Again, super tiny. Like this isn't even like a deluxe sample size. Like this is the shit that they throw in your bag, gift with purchase. Um, like I've gotten this size of the Glam Glow before, like Sephora or someplace, they throw it in the bag. The only thing that I think is full size in this box this month is this Clinique Chubby Stick. This one is in Super Strawberry. I do have um, one of these. That's really, really light. Like that's, there's no pigment. Look at that. I have one of these and it is highly pigmented. Mine looks bigger than this and it doesn't have the see-through cap. It has like a gold cap. So again, I'm thinking this is like a gift with purchase type thing because my chubby stick is pigment. This just is a moisturizing lip color balm. So I guess it's not supposed to have pigment, but I have a chubby stick that I got from Clinique that is highly pigmented and I think it's a little bit nicer package than this. So this was kind of a disappointment too because I love color and I can tell you right now, I am never gonna use that ever. Um, so yeah, I don't feel that this was worth the 
$21 or $25, whatever we spend for the Allure Beauty Box. Really disappointed Allure. I actually put it on my Instagram and spewed my feelings um, on my Instagram just because it was so disappointing when I opened it. I've never been so disappointed with Allure um, in the last year that I've been getting it. So with that said, don't forget, subscribe, like, share, comment. If you got this box, let me know what you thought because I think this is the worst box that they've sent out in like the past 12 months, um, which I guess with those odds, that's not bad, but seriously, um, yeah. And don't forget, stay beautiful, and we'll see you next time. Bye.